I can't believe it either. It's Saturday, it's 20 to 12, and I've managed to find a window of opportunity amongst all the customers that are here that are looking around vans to take a quick video of a van that's just come in. Right, <clears throat> some decoration on the side. Uh, I think someone must have driven past it. And uh, yeah, a bit muddy, but hey. Looks like there's been stickers on the back of here that have been removed. You can sort of see the yellow stripes. Even if you machine polish them for 10 years, they will never come out, unfortunately. But you can only faintly see them. It's a medium wheelbase. It's 120 brake horsepower. It's the 2.5 G9U. And what I like about it is it's kind of a rare spec on the inside. So, immediately, you've got a nice little isolator button here, which isolates the vehicle completely. We're back in. Um, this here is to do with the automatic transmission. I originally thought when I first had one of these it was air conditioning, but I think it um, it's for certain weather conditions that you stick those on. Uh, I'm not sure how effective it is, but it's there. And we've got a blank piece of paper as well, which is which is always nice. So, automatic transmission. It's even got satellite navigation just here, which is kind of unusual. And it's got in-cab air conditioning. Oopsie daisy. Um, and it's looking quite nice and tidy. Electric windows, electric mirrors. This is a clean van, guys. Seats are in nice condition. Dash is in nice condition. They're usually always missing on these, so are those. And it doesn't look like anyone's ever used that for lighting a cigarette either. Crew cab. I have to say, I've never seen a plastic cover on the floor like that before either in one of these. Nice matching crew cab seats as well. Easily removed too. Looks like we've got our scissor jack down here. The most dangerous thing in the vehicle. A bit of trivial bodywork damage. Tow bar. I finish. Obviously, the partial ball head is easily removed too. I mean, you can just see, whiz them off and it'll come out. Yeah, this is a pretty good van. Someone that needs an automatic um, should get this van. We've got a couple of items to do for the MOT as well. I haven't got the inspection report on me, but I know that. It does need a couple of things doing. It's mainly a couple of lights out and stuff like that. But yeah, that pretty much does it, guys. Buy this van.